what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to basically show you the same thing with a light circuit. It's not that much different. A light circuit, which we right now I've only got one of them coming in here, is basically consists of the same thing. We're putting in all of our light boxes up here on the ceiling. Um, this is the rough in phase. So we're going to hook power to a, a wire to every one of those boxes. And then from the first one, which we're going to call this one here, the first one, we're going to come back from it with a home run wire that comes from it all the way down here. So I'm going to go ahead right now and put in my home run wire. And then the rest of these are just going to piggyback right off of each other and they'll all be on one switch. They're all LED. So the draw is nothing. I'm running, as I told you, I was running 12 two with ground for all of my outlets. Um, for this, I'm running um, 15 amps, so this will be 14 two with ground. Um, the reason I'm doing that is simply because it's a little easier to work with, it's cheaper, and we just don't need, I, I doubt we're gonna use five amps. So we might as well just run a smaller wire for our light circuit. Now what I can't do is I can't feed my box with, with 15 amp wire and then put a 20 amp breaker in my box. So when I use 14 gauge wire here, I'm gonna be using a 15 amp breaker up here. So my light circuit will have a different size breaker. Again, you can see they don't look that different. So basically this is number 12. This is what we're running our outlets in. This is number 10, it looks a little bit bigger. You can kind of tell that. And then this is number 14. Um, it's what's inside that counts and uh, what it looks like on the package here, see this is 14.2, and then it's gonna be with ground. If you read all this, it'll say with, uh, with in a green insulated ground. So this basically has three connectors. 14 means the size, two is how many connectors, and it's with a ground. So 14.2 with ground means it has three wires. This would be 12.2 with ground, and then this is 10.2 with ground. Um, so this is what we're using for our lights. It uses the same connectors uh, as far as these go, same ones. Um, same crank tool, but I will have to adjust my crank tool smaller to, to cut this wire. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crank this thing tighter because I know it's smaller. When I turn this, it pushes that in further. And I pull this this way, that'll rock that like that, then I push it back and that'll hold that in place. Then I just squeeze this, crank it clockwise till it gets easy. Then I know I've cut through it. pull that off and I've got my wire again. So this is a number 12, this is a number 14. So there's quite a difference in the size and that, and that is what dictates how much power can go through there. You can definitely run a number 12 wire as a light circuit. We used to do that, but when you know that you're not using the power, you're gonna, once you get up there, every time you put on a wire nut, every time you do anything, you're gonna like this a whole lot better. It's just easier to work with when it's smaller. And it is cheaper because you're using less copper. Call it a sleeve. To protect those wires, slide my end on. And all I'm doing now is I'm just doing this in a little different order than I did the other, but I'll just take it, push that on there. And again, same thing. Those little clamps clip right on it so you don't have to get different ones for different size wire. This will work for all three of what we're doing. Now I'm gonna run my wire up and I'm gonna just come into this first one and then I'll come back and I'll tie this into the breaker box and we'll have officially wired a light. From there, what happens is I'll bring my, my home run to here, which we're gonna do. And then what happens is I'll put a switch in here and all my wires will connect together except for my hot leg. My hot leg will turn on and off by flipping it, by connecting this wire, my home run, to my light wire, which is my load. It's pretty simple stuff, really. Once you understand it, it's, it's really not hard, this type of stuff especially. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated when we start running power to this box. Um, there's different things you do with your ground bar and your neutral bar and stuff like that, depending on if you're going to a, another supply panel or, or, or a sub panel. So once again, here's my light. You've got neutral wire, it's white. Hot wire is black. And then your ground wire is green. This is a metal box. 
This little green wire is going right to it, which is bolted right to this metal here, which is bolted everywhere else. So once again, this ground is going to ground the whole building. So I literally ground this whole building like a hundred times before I'm done. So there's really no chance of having a situation to where we have a short without it, without it throwing a breaker. I know I'm a broken record on that. I apologize. What I've done so far up here is I'm same thing we did on the on the wall on all the outlets. We started our circuit. So what I'm going to do from here, next time you see this, there'll be a wire that goes from here to there. Then I'll probably jump back over to this one. I'll pick up that one. Then we'll shoot and we'll just basically connect all of these boxes together, all coming to this point right here. Now this wire right here is not a home run. This wire is actually going back to my switch. So this will be coming back here to my switch. Then I'm going to run a home wire from home run wire from here to the breaker box. So this one will go to so once again starts my circuit, comes back through here, comes down here, and it's going into my switch. I'll go ahead and wire that up real quick, like then I'll wire the home run for that. This here, um, yeah. I'm gonna take two of these out. So you got holes in my box. And you just push them out, and then you just rock them back and forth and remove those plugs. And it's gonna come right through that. And here's how it you just go. Those tapered things go in there, and then you just push. And that's that. So this is what you would call my load, meaning this wire is going to my light bulb. Um, then I'm gonna, this one here is going to be my line, which is going to supply power to my switch. And it's gonna be my home run, which goes back here to my breaker box and goes to my 15 amp breaker. So now I'll put that in. Also, a pain in the butt connecting these to those boxes. So I'll have to go over that with you. They're so thin, it's that giant crap. <sighs> yes, I have problems with the fact that I had to put anything from China in this building, but it's kind of hard to buy stuff anymore than it isn't. So these are a little tight. They make smaller ones of these. Um, like I say, you can use the same connectors, but it's easier if you get smaller. I'm getting them in there and it'll work fine. It's protecting it. As you can see, it's pressed in tight all the way to the metal there. Um, but if it was smaller, I could kind of force it down in a little bit more. Not a big deal. Just letting you know. I stripped this wire to work in a box and I was fixing to put it in my breaker box which means that I had that much wire. I, I wouldn't have enough wire because when we go on to the next phase, one of these wires might be going right here to this breaker, but another wire might have to come all the way around and connect over here. So I, I you want to leave plenty of wire in that breaker box. That's a mistake you will regret if you don't. Um, so this, I'm fine, I just need to put this in here. So it's going in here, and this is my my line. So this right here, this black wire will be on one side of the switch. This black wire will be on the other side of the switch. The rest of these wires will all hook together, and that will power up our lights. So now, up there, up there. So plenty of wire. Again, you can cut these. I usually use a different cutter than this, but you, this stuff cuts pretty easy. The, the, you're, you, the hardest thing is you're cutting through three, three pieces of wire. 
um, the shielding itself doesn't cut that hard. Now, same thing, I can go ahead and run this back up here and determine exactly what. So come down, go like that. I might give it a little extra. One thing I will say, once you press this in here, it's not impossible to remove these, but it's not easy. Um, other fittings they have for this, you can get um, male adapters here and screw nuts on and hold them into there with a nut. Those you can just screw the nut off and pull it back out. This here, quick and easy, not a lot of tools, push it in there, it's in there, but to try to take this out now, it's not fun. Not impossible but not fun. All right, so now we have our light circuit wired back to the breaker box. Goes from the breaker box down here to the switch, through a light switch back out through my load wire, back up, and it'll come to our lights. That's it. So we've wired a light circuit 